Welcome to Antigua, Guatemala. We are on the Cerro de la Cruz, the cross on the hill, um, overlooking the entire city. We come here to Guatemala to see one main thing, which is volcanoes. And as you can see, some of the volcano is there before it's covered by the clouds. Today, I'm going to hand you over to my co-host, um, Steffi the tour guide, who's got a new spin-off show called Steffi's Travel Documentary. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Steffi the tour guide. Welcome to my travel documentary show. This is going to be full of very well researched facts and interesting tidbits about Antigua. So to give you a little bit of a history, Antigua, um, so wait, let me think. <laughs> well, I mean, there was a whole Mayan history, but we need to go into that. So the Spanish first came around 1500, whatever, like that. Stupid conquistadors who destroyed lots of the Mayan uh, people and culture. So we won't dwell too much on that. Antigua was actually the capital of Guatemala and kind of Central Amer America for 200 years. But unfortunately, it is blighted by a lot of earthquakes in this area. And um, I think it was like 1773, a really bad earthquake happened. Most of the town was destroyed and they decided to move the capital to Guatemala City. So there you go. Nowadays, Antigua is a World Heritage Site, which means that they've been able to preserve a lot of the old colonial buildings, some of them dating back to early kind of 1600, 1500. And uh, over the next couple of days, I'm going to explore Antigua and take you with me. <laughs> Just to interject. <laughs> Look at her little plan she's made yeah. about where we're going to go today. You are lovely. <laughs> Question mark. We don't know if we're going to go there. That's a brilliant tour guide. <laughs> Without further ado, we're going to start at the main attraction, which is Santa Catalina Arch. Take it away. <laughs> Welcome to my travel show. <laughs> First stop is the Arch of Santa Catalina, which is probably the most famous uh, attraction in Antigua. As you can see, it's beautiful and you can see a volcano Agua through the archway on non-cloudy days, <laughs> which aren't very common at, the, at this time of year. There's a fun story behind the arch. So it was actually created because there was a convent on one side of the road and then they wanted to open up a school and the location was on the other side of the road. However, the nuns in the, and at that convent weren't allowed to be seen by the general public. As a solution, they built an archway with a hidden corridor through it so the nuns could easily cross the street without being seen. So that's why the archway exists. Another fun fact about the archway is that the clock was added way later in like 1800 something and it's still working but you have to manually they have to wind it up every three days on to the next place so this is the Iglesia de la Macad it's a beautiful yellow church um, and the reason why it's so famous is that it firstly took about 300 years to fully finish from start to finish because of earthquakes and delays in building and also it's got one of the most well-preserved stucco fronts which you'll see um, in a minute. And you'll see in my travel guide in Antigua, most of the buildings are churches or convents or monasteries, because um, this was the heart of kind of colonial Catholic, Catholic, Catholic <laughs> yeah. at the heart of kind of Catholic colonial Spanish rule. Look how amazing the stucco is, incredible. And as uh, Mike so eloquently said, um, when we first saw it, a bit too much stucco, if anything. <laughs> Next up on our travel show, we're going to the Central Plaza. So here we are at the Central Plaza. This is a really colorful place where there's loads of vendors and people selling, but also locals come here to hang out. We're here on a weekday, so it's a little bit quieter on weekends. The street closes and there's just loads of vendors. We found out that a lot of people actually don't live in Antigua. They live in the neighboring towns that come here to work. Um, such as Jakartananga and kind of up into the hills. It's beautiful and just really colourful. There's just so many different pe people and things to see. <laughs> I 
Two things. Number one, do you like my new lovely Guatemalan outfit? <laughs> And two, one of my favourite things about Antigua has been all the amazing doors <laughs> that we've seen. I thought you could just take a moment to quickly appreciate all the lovely doors I found. There we go, on with the show. Welcome to Casa Santo Domingo. So this used to be a really big convent um, back in the day. As everything else in 1773, it got destroyed during the earthquake, fell into ruin. But then in, I think it was like 1989, a hotel company came along, restored it beautifully. This is the only five star hotel in Antigua. And what they've also done is along with the hotel, they've got a kind of street of all these little mini museums. You can go see crypts and um, kind of the old like convent rooms. So we're gonna have a really, great time looking at everything today. really dark and creepy and then those lights switch on it was so loud it was like <laughs> you're scared of jesus So there's a huge amount of uh, churches and monasteries and convents in Antigua. This is one of the biggest and kind of most famous ones um, because of its connection to Hermano Pedro, who is Guatemala's only saint in the Catholic Church. So we're going to go in and have a look around. It's, it's an amazing facade, really actually very impressive. Not allowed to film. So we couldn't film in there um, for obvious reasons, but we had a really nice time looking at all the very ornate altars and art and everything. Um, but out here, there's a really fun market, which we're going to explore a little bit before heading on to our next destination. Brilliant. <laughs> Hello. We are, you guessed it, at another religious site. <laughs> this is a convent. So this is the Convent Santa Clara, which um, we've been told by a couple of people is the most beautiful place to see and so far already it's amazing and it's huge so here look at my lovely map we're gonna go all around here um, it's quite well preserved this convent took about 30 I think it took 31 years to build and it was in the early 17th century and then only 40 years later it only lived for 40 years and then the 1773 massive earthquake destroyed quite a lot of it, which is really sad. <laughs> so I only had 40 years of proper life. I don't know if it then was fixed again, but yeah. There you go. Anything else that's interesting? Fascinating viewing. <laughs> um, no, no, there's nothing else. Yeah, let's go check it out. It seems that the convent Santa Clara seems to be also a wedding venue. <laughs> I hope it's not, I think it's just setting up. <laughs>
So we're back on our rooftop and enjoying views of Volcano Agua. And we're gonna order some food, have some beer, and just enjoy the evening looking at the wonderful landscape. So there you go, that was Safi's super cool travel documentary, which I'm sure you're very sad is over with, but there's lots more to come. We've got so much of Guatemala to experience, and I'm sure Steffi the tour guide will be back sometime soon.